Hi, I'm Tom Collins, Executive Director of Clean Elections, Arizona's nonpartisan voter education agency. And I'm here today to talk about our upcoming legislative debate series with our uh, longtime Valley journalist, Steve Goldstein, who has come aboard to um, uh, help us to put together the best debates uh, program we've ever had. Uh, you probably know Steve from his experience on the uh, Phoenix affiliate of NPR, as well as um, Arizona PBS. And uh, additionally, he will be moderating uh, on some of our debates here this year. So Steve, thanks a lot for coming aboard to, uh, to help us with this uh, program. Tom, it's great to be with you. I'm a debate junkie for a very, very long time, from my earliest days. So thanks for having me aboard. And you mentioned legislative debates. I mean, it's, it's especially important to talk about this because this is a little anecdotal, but I think I've found over the years uh, as a journalist that you know, the voters, the folks who live in our communities don't necessarily put as much importance and emphasis as they should on legislative races. You know, we're also fixated on president for good reason and congressional races, but not as much legislative. And that can really affect our everyday lives. So how important is it for clean elections to present these legislative debates to let voters know really what's going on here? Well, you know, when when the voters of Arizona created the Clean Elections Program through an initiative, you know, one of the things they were really conscious of was the legislature. And I think that's with good reason, because, as you know, you know, it's the legislature where the rubber meets the road in government. You know, um, you know, Congress debates and Congress, you know, you know, passes legislation. But on, but the, what happens at the Arizona legislature happens faster and has a more immediate impact on everyday Arizonans than, than anything that ever happens in Washington, D.C. And that means whether it's what opportunities are available to your kid to make sure that their educational needs are being met, what the, edu what the budget is for our public schools, um, you know, they're debating important, um, you know, issues of of the extent of, of people's rights and, and, and additionally, you know, even more prosaic things like funding for highway construction. I mean, all those things are part of the day-to-day -day debate and importantly, the day-to-day decision-making uh, at our state capitol. So it's it's critically important. Well, Tom, we also know there's often a focus when we get to the general election on potentially competitive races. And yet so many of our legislative seats are decided in the primary race. And that's what makes these legislative debates during the primary that much more important. What do you think about that? Well, I think that you know, um, you know, our legislature is 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 incredibly closely held, right? The, there's 60 House members and 30 Senate members, but the margins uh, um, of the majorities have been one vote for um, the past four years, and and those, as you noted, those districts are divided sort of into two categories. There is a category of what's considered non-competitive. What does non-competitive mean in this context? It means that the primary is of more importance than the general because Districts, the way our districts are, the way that where people live, right, is how you determine essentially how the districts are drawn. So, you know, in a in a in a two party system, there are some districts that are just going to have a lot more Democrats or a lot more Republicans in them. And so those primaries become critically important. It's also critically important to pay attention to primaries in this in this environment because because, you know, independent voters in Arizona can select a Republican or a Democratic ballot. Um, sometimes people don't know that um, and, 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 and don't quite understand what power that gives you. But what that means is that, you know, that um, independents can participate in those elections and have a say, at least in these state elections, on who's going to be representing them down the road because that primary is so important. And Tom, I'm lucky enough to be one of the folks who will be moderating some of these legislative debates. We have a really long and distinguished list of journalists from all across the state, whether it's Northern Arizona, Southern Arizona, Maricopa County, um, how important was it to really take some time and figure out who some of the best moderators would be? Because as we mentioned, some of these legislative situations are are fairly local issue important. I mean, as obviously they affect the state, but how important was it to have people on the ground who are very knowledgeable of those different regions of the state? Well, we wanted to make sure that, you know, that there are, um, you know, that Voters who tune in um, see um, journalists with whom they're familiar. I, mean, I think that's especially important because, you know, a lot of 
Phoenix um, media, you know, is just driven by Maricopa County. And the reality is that um, that the issues in Sarita or Santa Cruz County are different than the issues in a uh, compact north cent- competitive north central Phoenix uh, legislative district. So we wanted to address that, and in part working with the Arizona Media Association, we wanted to identify journalists who have a track record within their communities, the confidence of their communities, and the ability to, to understand that not all voters in every part of the state are are the same. Um, and we don't want to have a cookie cutter approach to this. And that's part of the reason, for example, we you know solicit questions from voters around the state on these legislative debates. Uh, that's important, but it's equally important to make sure that the folks who are uh, there uh, to moderate are known. And Tom, let me reiterate what you just said to all the voters who are watching us right now. Your voter questions are vitally important to this process. These candidates are running to represent you, so please make sure you send in your questions. Also, make sure you watch these debates to see what you think of them. You can watch them at any time that's convenient for you as part of this great new agreement that Clean Elections has reached with a couple of other partners. And if you want any information on Clean Elections and the debates, please go to azcleanelections.gov. That's azcleanelections.gov. For Clean Elections Executive Director, Tom Collins, I'm Steve Goldstein.